Hey guys, this is Adrian, and welcome to Geek Chasers. Thank you for joining us for another fun-filled episode. I'm sorry I look so wrecked. I've been having quite the busy week. Um, I've been building things with my husband, and I came home after being away in the Poconos to um, make some birthday presents. I, it had to be crafty, of course. I was advised not to do anything crafty, and I did it anyway. So that took forever. What else was I doing? I don't know. I know I was doing more than it sounds. Oh, I was doing a lot of online work, and I don't need to worry about getting dressed up for that. No one sees me there. And I apologize for my glasses. Um, it's probably sending off some glare here and there, so I'll try to tilt, tilt around so you can see my eyeballs. But moving on, Arrow comes back this coming Wednesday. I'm so excited. Um, this couple week long break has been really distracting and annoying and I really don't know what I'm going to be doing this summer without the season. Probably buying season one and rewatching until season two comes out. Let's move on to a topic. Okay, we are going to start with comics and I want to throw a quick note out there that the first Saturday in May is free comic day. That will be happening at most, if not all, local comic book shops. Um, so make sure you get together with yours to figure out what sighting events they'll be doing. If you don't have a comic book shop, go to comicshoplocator.com. They'll be able to find one for you. Coming from Dark Horse Comics, we have Amala's Blade number one of four. A kingdom known as Namaroon is divided into two fractions that of course are fighting against each other. We have the low-tech purifiers and the high-tech modifiers who actually are both scared of the same thing, a deadly assassin named Amala. The vizier has no hope of fixing this, therefore it's decided Amala is to be sent on a suicide mission. April 24th. Check it out. On a quick note from DC Comics, the last issue of Before Watchmen Comedian is also going to be released on April 24th. Make sure you make this mind-blowing miniseries collection complete. Now there's a comic coming out that's been quoted as unmissable and that is called Jupiter's Legacy number one. It's a really anticipated comic for 2013 and it's where a bunch of the known superheroes have grown old and it's up to their children to live on their hero's legacy. However, it seems rather controversial because in the description alone they don't really have the faith in the children to live up to what their parents have lived up to. So it should be really interesting. I'm assuming a lot of twists and turns and you don't know who's going to make it to the top hero wise and vice versa. So I don't know. It seems really good. Make sure you check that one out. We open up to collectibles. Now listen, if you are a Harry Potter fan, if you are a mini bust fan, this collectible is for you. This is a Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows mini bust. Uh, this mini bust has been digitally scanned from Daniel Radcliffe's whole face to ensure complete likeliness. I thought that was really cool and it, it does. It looks great. Um, each one-sixth scale are individually painted and numbered and of course comes with a certificate of authenticity and this is what it looks like. Now, I'm a huge fan of Scrabble, but unfortunately I don't get to play much because my husband does not find amusement in struggling to spell words. However, I might get some more game time in with this edition of Scrabble. We have Hobbit and Unexpected Journey Scrabble, which will be in stores April 24th. You can choose to play the known Scrabble edition or add a little Hobbit twist into the game. Um, they have things like bonus words and custom adventure cards. Has fun things changed in the game, such as the one ring being all the O's, um, as well as beautifully done tile bags and, of course, a Hobbit decorated game board. For this, the MSRP is still pending. Walking Dead fans, prepare for those hideous zombies to be 100% adorable. 
Pop and Funko bring you Michonne and her two zombie pets. It comes with glow-in-the-dark highlights, window packaging, and a very teeny tiny katana. The MSRP is $26.99. Moving on to video games. Did you guys get Injustice Gods Among Us? Because it's pretty awesome. And in the game, they had this little tiny um, catalog book, and it has such cool things like hats, um, action figures, graphic novels, and some absolutely gorgeous cell phone cases. I want all of them. But make sure you buy the game and buy their products. It's pretty awesome. Okay, Star Trek. Now, I know what you're thinking. Sometimes movie-based video games are awful. They're the worst things you could ever put into your system, and you just wish you got your money back automatically. However, I think I would be willing to take the chance on this video game. At E3, this game was explained as a grow-up where two people can choose between Kirk and Spock. That's cool. Um, you cannot change during chapters, however, it allows players to drop in and play cooperatively. The cast from the loved Star Trek film that was released in 2009 has been secured for the voices of the game. We have Marianne Krawczyk, who previously worked on Gods of War and Shank, um, who developed the plot of the game right alongside the producers of the film. I think there was a lot of care being put into this game, and hopefully my instinct will be correct in thinking that it does decently well. This game is good for the 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. It's rated T for Teen. On April 21st, we have LEGO City Undercover, The Chase Begins. It's a city-themed video game, second LEGO game to be published by Nintendo. It's a prequel to LEGO City Undercover, playable for the Wii U, um, and this game is good for Nintendo 3DS and is rated E for everyone. Lastly, for our video games, we have Dragon's Dogma Dark Horizon. Capcom is re-releasing their known Dragon Dogma game. However, new and exciting things are to be added. New things such as new enemies, new quests, locations, character customizations, weapons, armor, the works. Uh, this is being released April 23rd. It's good for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and is rated M for Mature. For now, I'm going to get going. Tomorrow, I have a Doctor Who birthday party to go to. I'm very excited about that. So, that's what I have going on. And then, I'm going to play some, well, I'm not going to play it probably. My husband's going to be playing some EDH for Magic the Gathering on Saturday, so that'll be fun. But you guys have an awesome week, and thank you for listening. If you liked this episode, please give me a thumbs up. Please, please subscribe. It'll make me so happy. And I apologize greatly if you think I'm off my rocker this week. <laughs> Bye.